Well guys, today is not a video that I really wanted to make. You guys may be wondering, why is this a video that I really did not want to make? Well, because mainly because it involves the bike. And normally I would be very glad to involve the bike in a video, but today, not really. This is the reason why. By the way guys, out here with us today, we have the 19 SS Camaro, the 98 C5 Corvette, and this 1986 C4 Corvette. You guys are always, always asking me, why haven't you guys done any more videos of the cars yet? Then because we have not done anything special with the cars yet. Whenever we do something special with the cars, I will be making a video soon, but back to the bike. So... Yesterday, I was make. I started a vlog. I started a vlog. I was gonna be getting a video out today. I decided not to, and it was for one specific reason. My bike is broken. Yes, it's broken again. So, well, this is actually the very first time I've actually ever had something like this happen. My swin, which is back there in the back, or it's actually right up here. That's when I've been. That's when I actually had the ride yesterday after the vlog to go to the pool and stuff. But um, that one has had more problems so far. I got this one so I can have something to ride during the coronavirus because we cannot get anything done on that bike. So, because all the stores and businesses are closed, so we couldn't take the, the bike to anywhere. So, I got this one so I can have something to ride during the coronavirus. But anyway, this one, this one right here, I was crossing the road yesterday. It was a road probably, probably less than a quarter mile away. All right. And I was, it was, it was a near Harris Teeter. We were crossing a road, and um, something interesting happened. So, so I was trying to really, I was really just trying to launch the bike, which is really not able to be done on a BMX bike. And something interesting happened. So I was, I, I, mean, I don't know if I pushed down on the pedals too hard, because, and what I heard, what I heard then was a snap. Then the pedals would not start spinning. And this is why. The chain, it came clean off. I mean, look at this. This chain, the little piece, the little screw up here at the end that I'm missing, it came clean off. I, didn't, I could not find the screw at the site where, I, where the chain came off. But I was, luckily, I was able to find the chain. So no, nobody can hopefully be able to measure this. I'm hopefully, hopefully I can get the bike fixed within the next couple of days. And I can do another bike vlog to fix it up. What I did then was, so, as I was coming back, Energy Viper, I called Energy Viper. I called, I called my friend Anthony, and he told me, he was like, wait, what? So, he ran up, so like, he ran up to the site where, I, where my bike chain fell off. And he was like, how in the heck did that happen? I was lost the words too. I, don't, he, I didn't even know how the heck it happened. And so what we did then was, I, went, I was going to Publix to get me some new Hot Wheels because yes, you guys do. I was going to make a video. I actually, I did. It, it just was still able to get the Hot Wheels models I wanted. But um, see, so yeah, like he then let me ride his bike to go to Publix to get the Hot Wheels cars I want. Then what I did is we actually we took this thing to a a bike shop, right? Like, you know, like we took the bike to a, a car shop actually. Which is not really the thing you need to do. You need to take a bike to the bike shop. You don't want to take a bike to the car shop. So that's kind of what we did. But um, to see, just just to ask to see if they maybe may have anything that we may use to be able to fix the bike. If you guys know what I mean. And I asked them, and they tried to stay looking around, see if they had anything. They didn't have anything. So what we had to do then, we ran around to ask at different businesses if we could, if they have anything that we can maybe tow. Luckily. Starbucks actually had, we actually, we like we were like we were right by Starbucks, and like my buddy he actually, like as I like I took his bike to um, Harris Teeter to get my Hot Wheels, and as he was doing that he actually pushed my bike to um, Harris Teeter, when I got back, I we actually when I got back to Harris um, Starbucks, and I, and like we actually asked one of the people who worked there if they had anything we could use to actually like kind of like tow the bike home. Like, if you guys know what I mean by towing, like, let's say my Schwinn, hold on, I'm going to call my up here slowly, because if I don't, if I walk too fast, the microphone will crack out, but let's say my Schwinn is my buddy Anthony's bike, alright, so, we got up here, we took the, um, the, um, it, it looked, what it looked like weather stripping, we tied it right here to, the, like, this part of the handlebar right there, 
and we did the same thing to my bike we pretty much had a bike probably like this close away from the other tire and what we did was we actually um oh crap the mouth knocked that over that plant so pretty much what we did is i was like we both took turns riding he got very tired so then i rode we just pretty much just pulled the bike my bike home to where to where i wouldn't have to push it all the way home because pushing this thing all the way home I mean, like, the crash site was probably about a mile away from here. Or, like, it's not really a crash. It's really, it's really just a, a breakdown, I guess you can call it. If, it was, if this was a car, it would pretty much, be, pretty much be called a breakdown. It happened about a mile away. I wouldn't have to walk a mile home. I would have to, actually, probably two miles away. I, I don't, and I think one thing, I would not want to walk home two miles just to get this bike home. So, that's what we did. And... After we got home, hey, anyway, back to the bike, like I said, we, the thing is, though, we actually had to push it the rest of the way, and, um, uh, now it was pretty much like one of those little bikes that have no handlebars, that guess just push around with their feet. Uh, I could still use it, but I just can't use it for, like, anything really cool, anything like that. I can't do tricks with it right now. I just cannot believe it. So, that's what then happened. So, then, lucky, luckily enough, my Schwinn, it can still be driven, or written, ridden. Because I just can't change gears on it that well. Because the gear selection chain, because like the gear selection wire is broken on that one. So I have to get a new wire. Like if I come over here and I show you guys, if you look here, these wires right here, if I zoom in on them, these wires right there, they're kind of loose. Also, I'll be getting a new seat because of this hole right here. I'm planning on getting a new seat for the bike. And also, I'm definitely planning on taking almost all these stickers off because all these stickers are I have way too many stickers on there. So, anyway, best go back to the diamond back. And so then, after we got after that, after we got the bike home, my stepdad he looked at it. Hopefully, like pretty much, all we got to do is just measure the chain. And if we measure the chain, see how big it is. We could just get a new chain for it, and it'll be fixed, and we fix and ready to go. But thing is, though, where can we find a chain? I mean, like. Can we do we can we find them at Walmart? Can we find them at I mean like we may we may have to wait for till the a bike shop opens so I could actually get a new chain. I'm ho hope that's the worst case scenario. That's the worst case scenario. And if you guys have any suggestions I could try, to tell me in the comment section down below. I'm I'm gonna be reading some of your comments on today's video later later on today after this video gets published and. I just hope I can get this bike fixed because this bike I've only had it for three months, but three or f maybe, about, maybe about two or three months, and I've not I mean like I got it for my birthday. Actually, I actually got it in April, so I've had I got it in about I've had it for about two months. So this is pretty much like an early birthday present for me, so I can still have something quite to ride. And actually, if you guys want to know a story about what happened, about, about like how the bike was like when I first got it, and it was kind of kind of like that you know what I mean so like when I first got the bike we got this from this we got we got this bike from a guy somewhere and we got it for $75 and this car this bike's original bike price was around $700 because Diamondbacks they're not cheap actually this bike is probably close to a thousand dollars I'm gonna guess because it's a especially because it's a BMX bike and we got this one for about $75 and he got rid of it because he did because the, the way how bad it was riding and I mean like it wasn't not that good of a ride when I first started driving like the first ride I did on it I I mean like I tried standing up on it tried to go a little bit quicker it made like I mean like the chains were like acting weird so after we did that we tuned it up our dog is acting crazy over there I was always acting crazy over there after we tuned it if you want to guys want to know how we tune a bike what we actually do is we my step that he pulls one tire and I pull the other back tire and I pretty much pull it like this to actually like straighten up everything and actually make it be a little bit more elongated to actually straighten actually tighten up the chain and also to straighten the and also the make sure the tire is all stiff because we want to make sure the chain is as high as we can get on there after we did that the bike was riding road just like a charm it rode perfectly until for, for about three months for about maybe about two or three weeks or so the bike started to do that again we did the same thing again and we have no we had, we had no problems ever since then until now that was until yesterday and this bike ch chain completely snapped right and clean in half <laughs> we also went to the pool yesterday as well so we had actually we actually drove the swim over there yesterday but i just want to go and make this quick video about 
what happened to the bike and maybe you can hopefully and just let you guys know about what problems about what solutions that we may have to go through with I should get this bike fixed I'm going to make this video specifically just to ask you guys about what I could do to get the bike fixed and about how long it may be able to be till I get the bike fixed hopefully my stepdad he can measure the chain today we can hopefully get a new chain tomorrow today or maybe tomorrow I don't know hopefully hopefully I can get a new chain today because I want to get a video out I have to get a video out very soon I'm gonna um, hopefully I'm gonna make a do another diamond another bike review I have to do a like I'm still gonna be doing a top speed test video coming up very very soon I want to see how fast this bike can really go I'm so I'm very nervous for that because I because after, after the issue that's happened here I'm definitely gonna get some safety equipment for I actually do that in case the bike does mess up again and but anyway guys if you guys did enjoy today's video please do leave a like and also subscribe and also guys if you guys want to follow me on all my social medias they will all be linked in the description down below if you guys are very curious about what I used to make my videos and edit my videos I'll, I'll, every single thing I do is in the description down below as well if you guys have not yet already go hit that subscribe button that big red subscribe button and also turn on post notifications so you guys will always be notified whenever I make, get make a, I make a brand new upload and if you guys would like to see more weekly video, more weekly videos of my bike, of the cars, or of the cars, then go ahead, guys. This is the place to be. I'm on the road to 500 subscribers. If you guys help me out with reaching 500 subscribers. Today's shout out winner has already done popped up. And also, guys, go subscribe to Energy Viper. He'll be linked in the description down below. He's the one who actually helped me out with getting this bike home. And hopefully, and hopefully now we get the bike fixed. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Peace out. Oh man, I cannot believe this. Open up, you open up. Hit you on baby M. We should be closer than friends. If you open up, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya.